Blowfield users, Easter egg one, two. Crowtown. Now let me zoom this in, guys. This camera's a piece of shit. Now I'm going to show you some on the fly. Oscillator creation. We're going to drag drop. Everything's plugged up. Alright, now we what we have here is a single cycle sinusoidal wave. Let's make sure it's new. New wave table. Alright, it's new. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some character to this. Then we're going to drag drop it into the uh, blow field. And we're going to play because you'll hear what it sounds like compared to a, a real sinusoidal wave, which I have already loaded in um, oscillator slot 1. Oscillator slot 2, I have it on. Um, wavetable 80 because this is where this one will be going so I'll set that up make sure it goes to 80 now for this example take the sine wave I'll make a thorn for you so you see how this works alright so I'll turn it on to this I'll give it um, 16 cycles Now, if I step this, you see now it's not round anymore. If I undo it, it becomes round again. But this is not what we're trying to do. I'm just showing you some stuff that you can do. That's because I made it big. This is a real um, a tedious process. This is why I may want to say a lot of people won't understand how to use this wavetable creator uh, program. And it's just a lot. But I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to um, bring a giveaway pack to you guys so you guys can download. And um, you can drag drop this into your blow field. You can ex experiment and experience um, some of these waves. Now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to turn back to single cycle. Add that in. That's how you make the thorn. If I undo it, you see there are spikes here. If I undo that, it goes back to that. Undo that, shrinks it back down again. If I step it again, they are only going down. I can invert that. That's like a unipolar type of um, bandpass looking. It looks like bandpass, but that's like a unipolar thorn. Which is going to have different harmonics in the total form. Now, if I amplify this, that's like bandpass. Shift it a bit. That's exactly what you have. That's like bandpass stuff. So, I don't want to save that. Let's go back to the sine wave. I'm going to add in. Oops. Make it an eight cycle. Step it. You see? We'll compare and contrast it. We'll make this one eighty. And we'll call this um Notch type. No, we'll call it notch tooth. Fuck it. Alright. And then let's amplify it a bit. Let's bring it up a little bit. Bring some. Bring something into it. And we'll save this as a SysX exclusive. That's what you want to do. Save it as SysX exclusive. We'll go here, wavetable user. Uh, whoops. Man. And we'll call this, uh, let's say, notch tooth. Now, we'll take notch tooth. A lot of stuff going on here. Excuse me. Notch tooth, drag and drop the blow filter. 
is what we'll be doing right here. So drag and drop the blow fill. You go to Command, Window, Sys X, and now it is sending to the blow field. <clears throat> and we'll go over to the blow field after that's done. However, let's go back to the program. Let's undo this. Now, we have this unipolar type of tooth going down like that band pass like I showed you guys before. Now, this is going down. So, we'll take this 81 and we'll call this And we'll save that it's unipolar down band pass. Oh. Alright. And then we'll invert it. And then change it to 82. And then say up. And then save that. Okay. All done with a sine wave. Now, <clears throat> so it's MIDI aux. Exit out of there. Excuse me, I gotta get out of these menus, man. I got too much. I got too much windows going on. Oh shit. Here it is. So that's the up down band pass. Load it. And then we'll send the up up band pass or the um unipolar up band pass, excuse me. Alright, now I'm going to swivel this over this way because it's time for you guys to see the blow field now. Let me zoom out a bit. You see it's receiving SysX. There's notch tooth on there as you see in 80. And this will be also loading in, sending SysX. So, so as you see, notch tooth is in 80. You've seen what it looks like. Um, I'll also be um, including with these packs. Uh, screenshots. I'll take them with a the camera on the screen or I'll try to do this digitally like from the computer and get screenshots. They will be included um, with each pack with the name obviously on the screenshot and you'll see the wave, the appropriate wave that it goes to to the name. So you can just like matching faces and names and type shit. You know what I mean? The face of the wave. So that's how you see it. Alright, so you guys see Notch Tooth. That's an oscillator too. Now listen. Now, oscillator one is a sine wave for the basic is because you want a sine as a fundamental. It's the fundamental of all sound. I've told you guys that before. When you take the FM off. That's all you hear. Now, if you move the actual sine wave around, now let's move up to up band pass.
it gets atrocious if you don't know what you're doing. But I'm just displaying this so you guys can see. Hold up. I need to turn this. Now let's modulate. Let's just switch it. Let's turn the custom oscillator on and turn it mute to sine wave and then use it as the source. This is what the up this is what the down bandpass sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Here's the up Here's what notch 2 sounds like by itself. That's exactly what it sounds like. So, when you take the oscillator 1, get the up and get the You could almost use this like uh, this bandpass. Um, what did we call it? Unipolar upward uh, bandpass. You could almost use that as a LFO. Look. Say take key tracking off. It's noisy. Might have to add it back in there. Man, this shit sound just like the virus, man, if not better, but the virus just has 24 bit, that's all. And dual processing. You know what? And on here, let me show you something real quick before we get off. <clears throat> I'm gonna reinitialize this. The hypersaw engine. This has one too. Let me show you how to tap into it. The real way. Okay, you take two saw waves. Excuse me, put them both at eight feet. Put some amplitude release on it about I don't know, who cares? Something like that. Bring a little bit of attack on it so it's smooth, right? Take saw two on oscillator two, detune it, but like plus 12 or plus 24 or negative, whatever suits your. Go to Unisono. Uh, Cause I was experimenting with this. I'm like, man, dude, that, vir that virus is a gimmick, man. This blowfield could do everything it can do, if not more. <clears throat> Go to Unisono. Uni spread it out, maybe 12, 
24, something like that. Oops. I would want to say that's like a hyper saw, but you could probably add in oscillator 3. Turn that into 8 foot, make sure it's a saw wave, probably detune it by negative 24 since I did the first one. What was it? Oh, it was plus 24. Uh, I'll bring it down to 12 or something like that. Because the detune and then the, the oscillator, that gives it movement. So, okay, a little check it. <laughs> want to say that's pretty super saw-ish and hyper if I might say so myself and quite robust and full be careful you'll eat up poly with that and this is no filters man everything's not even on so like there there's no modulation going on for any of this crap I just thought I'd show you guys this stuff this is Easter egg special you know oh uh, man we all used to hunt for Easter eggs and if we didn't oh well whatever who cares but when you hunt for Easter eggs sometimes they contain toys and surprises and well this is the Easter egg one two Surprise, surprise, surprise. You can make your own custom oscillators. I'll be bringing that to you so you don't have to go through the headaches of standing at a computer all day to do it. Uh, I'll be having the giveaway. I'll try to uh, get that in the Blowfield group on Facebook. And any other site that, I, like, you know, wherever you can access it at. If you can access me, I'll access you with the giveaway. Um, you'll have to check out Trader Crows um, on eBay, though, for the packs at a costly one dollar fee but the packs will be jam-packed and you'll have a plethora to play with so I hope you guys enjoy today please eat good but I just wanted to know if you guys ever heard of a hyper triangle That's going through the wall. Hyper sign. Let's bring it in. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that either. Hyper square. Yeah, the book's coming. I got it's a lot. This book's going to be. It's, that's why I'm making a PDF, man. I'm not going to be able to print this shit out. That's crazy. I'll run out of ink or something. So, um, I mean, I print out for myself so I can get into these numbers and, you know, keep my snappy savvy with this shit. But I, I gotta, like, this book is going to be heavy. And there's gonna be a volume two to it, too. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Be Good, that's my homie. Now, these aren't my words, these are his words. He calls me the Blowfield Buddha. I do meditate with this box, though. <laughs> Crazy. That's a hyper square. Let's turn it off though. Let's see. Let's let's turn it to let's turn a hyper uh let's see if we can get a hyper custom oscillator on here. Let's bring some crazy shit in. I'm gonna close this video down for you guys. Put it on YouTube. Let you guys get on your um boxes and play play. That's what I'm doing. It's display and play play, man. Easter egg one two. Hope you guys are eating good today and with your families and stuff. I will be shortly doing this. Um I don't know. Hold up, let's see. I set up a, a broken comb. Whoa. I was in a trance. I don't even know some of these uh, settings or uh, some of these uh, waveforms or oscillators I made. All right, diamond cutter. Hold up. Damn, you can't even use these. When you use custom oscillators, it eats up poly tubes. It's real heavy. Let me turn it down to maybe three or something. 
That's both of them together. Nothing silent here. Let's just FM it for the hell of it. See what I mean? Some grain on Just remember, man. My homie called me that. I didn't call myself that, but I do get into this box very deep. There is a plethora inside the little skinny mini. Understand that I can't wait to get with the pause. I can't wait to get them together. I know it's going to be a bad match. It's going to be a mixing match, man. Huh? Hey, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So that's the Easter egg, too. I got to go. I was going to uh, show you guys some stuff. Just from the computer to the, to the thing and uh, as you see I got it loaded up with stuff I threw some grains on I told you it was gonna move particle solids with it but that's inside the box with the transient information and showing you how sound works and move solids and um, liquids and stuff that's gonna I'm gonna need a couple little peripherals to do that like uh, some salt here and blah 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 or like just like some particles type stuff and I'll show you how this when I turn the speakers it'll move and make some designs and stuff like that but um on that note, I will catch you guys on the flip. I'm glad you tuned in. I hope you guys are enjoying this Easter. And I'll catch you on the next one.